Hi, welcome back to my roommate plays. I'm Beth, that was Diana, and today my roommate Sarah's gonna be playing. Professor Layton and the Curious Village HD for mobile. We're gonna pick up where'd she go? Yeah. I don't know. I think she's in front. It... Do not play with the mic cord, please. <laughs> this is going on the table because she likes to play with cords. <laughs> well, she'll be at the bottom of the table. Maybe you can see her if you can. Hopefully she'll jump back up and hang out with us. Yeah. But uh let's see, last time. There was a cat that ran. Oh, now she's by her face. <laughs> cat in the game, cat here, cat everywhere. It is everywhere. But right, let's hop back into it, track down that kitty from that dubious owner, and my strange prediction. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had any more dreams that we need to know about? Um, none that apply to this series. Right? <laughs> In case ours wasn't good enough, I guess. <laughs> Oh, what business do you 
have here. If you just moved to town, I'd strongly advise you fill out or change of address form. Oh no, we aren't here for anything like that.
go out, it eventually, and my lines are not at all straight, but that's fine. But the further you go out, the more you end up like a very familiar triangle shape.
feel like I'm turning this into a math puzzle and it's not supposed to be a math puzzle, but we're gonna find out. It's at least geometry. Somewhat. Thank you. Draw the line. There we go. Okay. Now we're gonna go blue. Dabba dee, dabba die. Mm -hmm. Two, three, four. Right there. Come on. Okay, I need to have the, that, that selected. That would be important. Okay. <laughs> bunch of little ones. probably counted wrong because the next even number would be 64, which is divisible by 8. It's right. 8 times 8. Mm -hmm. So now my, my the three answers I've had are 7, 8, and 9. Oh. <laughs> to the commentary on our commentary due to losing face cam <laughs> and my negligence to not double check the, that the mic was originally recording so we had some issues but yeah. that was fine but uh we'll provide some entertainment over some visual so it's just like an ordinary video it's just we're not getting all the exact jokes but you can live with that <laughs> we're human yeah uh, Diana is coming to investigate what we're doing, mm -hmm. uh, so I will explain to her what it is is happening, because she can't see the screen. Uh, see, I'm, I'm, at this point in the puzzle, I figured out, hey, there's enough ink to draw this many triangles, so I'm gonna draw out the basic triangles I can fill in, and you can see me here filling it in with a lovely shade of green. Yes, beautiful. Yes, so I'm gonna give you some true color commentary. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, uh, tracing out more triangles. It's uh, a lot of triforces. Oh, so there's a meme. Mm -hmm. not, not a meme, there was a question going around. So the triforce, technically, it has four triangles in it, but there's right. only three that are used because triforce. Mm -hmm. But if there was a fourth, what would the fourth one stand for? Oh. So there's power, 
courage, and wisdom. And wisdom. Right. What do you think the fourth would be? Because I, I, I've answered this, and, and uh, my boy posted it to Twitter because he liked my answer so much. Mm. But what do you think it would be? I mean, not to be cliche, but I guess love. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. I, I said honor. Okay. Oh, you can see here, uh, I messed <laughs> up my drawing uh, as I switched to another color. What happened is, uh, and I, I th- remember mentioning about smart boards, right. but like on a mouse pad, if you're like in a drawing program, if you have something resting on a point and you try to draw, draw on a different point, it makes a straight line between <laughs> those two points, and that is what happened here. Which could be useful in some like settings, but yes, there you weren't here, trying to do that. Yeah, on this laptop you can't control it, and so I'm like, there's already a line here, <laughs> we're gonna make some use out of it. Made it into a one, and then you added your numbers to it. Yeah. So that looks like a multiplication sign because I'm very good at drawing with a trackpad. <laughs> I saw Diana crawl under the bed. She's done that before. Yes. I wouldn't be surprised. She likes to do that. I saw her move out of the corner of my eye. Oh, there she is. She's under your desk. Hi. She knows I'm talking about her. <laughs> see, I'm very good at math. You could see that was one plus six, seven. And my answer, confidently, is seven. And uh, here we see answer. the boy. A happy boy. A happy boy. We solved the puzzle. <laughs> At long last. <laughs> At long last, the puzzle has been solved. Uh, yeah. So, it looks like the episode's ending, so thanks for joining us. Uh, and our social media just popped up, good, as... Uh, yep, right on time, so... Yeah, I, I feel like I, I want to conclude this uh, recording. Thank you for bearing with us. Um, there will be more follies like this uh, in the next episode or two, something like that. We're working on fixing it. We're going to try some new techniques, but uh, look forward to the next one and we'll see you next Next time. time.